genetics, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, <clears throat> so I spend a lot of time on campus, and, uh, and I'm quite socially awkward, so uh, I found myself more and more eavesdropping uh, on people. And one thing I've, I've come to realize is that one of girls' favorite pastimes is hating other girls. <laughs> like, with other girls. You know? I've seen, we've all seen friendships, lifelong bonds, bridesmaids form over the hatred of another girl. Right? <laughs> and I just think that's a shitty way to make friends, you know? So sometimes I daydream about, you know, meeting one of these girls that get shit talk, shit talk behind their back. And I say, you know, hey, I'm sorry you have such shitty friends. My name is Logan, I want to take you out to <laughs> But I don't because, you know, social anxiety. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, think, uh, I think more and more we're getting really paranoid as a society, as a nation, you know? But you know, when you think about it, how were we talked across the street when we were kids, you know? Look right, no cars. All right, cool. Look left. Also no cars. Awesome. But you gotta look right again because car may have been coming while you were looking left, but now look up again because holy shit, logic says the same thing could have happened while you're looking right. <laughs> now you look right again, now the girl just takes You look left, now China owns everything. Look right again. <laughs> I mean, the dealer's fine. Now look left. Hey, whoa, aliens working McDonald's. Like, <laughs> uh, right? Oh man. Uh, people say that when doing stand up comedy, um, your first joke needs to really let the audience know like what to expect for the rest of your set, right? So I think that's true with lots of things. Uh, for example, first dates. I like to let the girl really know what to expect for the rest of the night. So I pull up at my uh, Mini Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> I stick to a little restaurant, you know, where they serve small portions. Maybe you get some small talk. Uh, ask what she's minoring in at school. <laughs> Offer some uh, some uh, mini hand sanitizer. <laughs> That's key because it's something small coming from my pants. <laughs> uh, you know, so by the, by the time I get back to my apartment, things are heating up. Small is already a theme. You know? <laughs> There's no surprises. But okay, my penis is a small. It gets great gas mileage. <laughs> Vagina mileage is a complete other story. <laughs> um, so Patrick was saying, I used to have a big uh, handlebar mustache. And uh, we were at, last week, we were at, or it was movie weekend, so two weeks ago, yeah, we were at uh, Paddock Lane's, or uh, Tipsy Turtle, that's what it was. And uh, me and my buddies were walking around the outside of the bar, like the wall on the right side where the mirrors are, to get around to the bar to get some shots. And these girls are over by the wall, and two girls standing together, as I walk by, both, hands in my face, like, because <laughs> <laughs> and so, like a gentleman, I stopped and I was all of a sudden, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> the girl on my left, you know, kind of was touching my mustache, like, oh, can I touch it? Can I get this? It's a weird, you know? And I was like, yeah, go ahead. And the girl on my right grabs it, and I've got it all waxed up. Like, it's big, you know, like, maybe uh, nickel sized. <laughs> Impressive, you know, man. And she grabs it, and she yanks on it real hard. And I, oh, I took everything I had and I hit her in my face. <laughs> it hurt, and I was like, why did you do that? She goes, I'm sorry, it was fake. I thought it was fake. And so you know what I did? I grabbed her tits as hard as I possibly <laughs> And she goes, why did you do that? And I was like, because I'm drunk and I like booze. <laughs> Alright guys, well, hey, I appreciate y'all coming out. Thanks for laughing at me. I'll be having a bunch of y'all. <laughs>